The amnesty program has likely been considered as an ingenious and sensitive concept. An olive branch expected to fertilize the sprouting of a generation of youth in the Niger Delta. All like unicorns who emerge from the ashes of armed agitation and its toll on the region, reformed, focused and vital to the prosperous future of a region in their need of such an optimistic outlook. It is also true that the positive waves anticipated from such a laudable and all-encompassing concept was in actual sense a mere ripple when some of the drivers of a scheme were confronted with the task of a shore and the stark morning. Not fully permeating the creeks, but already creaking with fatigue. The program needed a shot in the arm and it fortuitously got it. The President's Muhammad Buhari administration has earned its reputation on being deliberate and painstaking because it has bigger picture in mind, sustainability, human capacity development, youth empowerment and transparency. All these the PMB administration brought to bear in the selection of a new henchman for the presidential amnesty program. Professor Charles Dokubo, a thorough academician and technocrat without any weighty previous political affiliations, but professionally equipped and passionately driven to paddle a listing canoe through the labyrinth it has found itself. Let's do this thing together in the spirit of oneness. Let's do it together in the spirit of oneness. Let's do it so that our people are possessed with only sin and don't work for us. I'm not going to be in this office for work. For all my life, mm. but the period that I'm here, I will try as much as possible to impact on the lives of the matter that I've been. I believe that's one way out. We cannot continue to complain about marginalization, mm. oppression, mm. repression, mm. adapting the theory of the entire colonialism and all that. Mm. We don't want to go back to that. We are now going to see ourselves as co equal in a natural state that we want to all when it took the SADU, there was no single training facility in place for beneficiaries of a presidential amnesty program as these components of a scheme had been farmed out to vendors who in some cases simply took advantage of slack oversight to deliver substandard models. Professor Dukubo's vision was to ensure that the program developed capacity to train its beneficiaries. To achieve this, he completed and commissioned the online gas vocational training center at Agada Gabon in SL, the local government area of Ondo State and the Basic Skills Vocational Training Center, Borotown, Bayelsa State. Uh, honestly, I must commend President Muhammadu Buhari for providing all this facility. My summary is that our people should explore this opportunity. They shouldn't play with it and uh, we should guide it and take it as a project so that we can take over the oil industry. Honestly, it's a wonderful thing and I, I, I commend you for this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. When uh, you see something that is good, especially to develop the youth of this nation, most especially the people of Niger Delta, I am very proud to be associated with these initiatives for them to learn more about what that is good that is coming from the environment. So I'm here to be part of a success story and I thank God Almighty for using the leadership of Professor Dokubo for putting these things right. He's been able to complete it and I am very happy because of what he said today. Today is his happiest day ever since he's taken his appointment up. So if we have more of good things like this in this country, we will leave to enjoy the good things of our youth. Next was the vocational training center at Gelegele Edo State, where he performed the foundation laying ceremony on 15th February 2019. Work is currently ongoing at the site. In the same vein, 
Professor Charles Dokubo is also working tirelessly to complete and activate the vocational training center in Bomadi, Delta State, where work has reached about 90%. The Agri Training Center has six classroom buildings, six buildings for the student classrooms, then have a way house to store the facilities in the agri site. Then we have Utility, utility center, which is the water treatment house. We have generator house and a security house. This is phase two. In phase one, we have the electrical classroom and the hostel for the boys. Electrical classroom comprises of almost 20 classrooms. 20 classrooms. The structures in the classroom are four structures. There's four buildings for the classroom. Then we have uh, staff quarters. Eight, eight flat staff quarters, eight flats. Okay. Uh, we have cafeteria, we have a viewing center, we have a boys quarter of 20 rooms, boys quarter for the students. Then we have water projects and uh, the landscaping and the fencing work. We have a, a boy, five aside football field and a, a long tennis courtyard too. The gains we going to benefit the, the youth, the residents' youths in the Ninja Delta, mostly in Bomadi local government and Delta State as a whole. The man with the paddle intends to build vocational training centers in all the states in the Niger Delta to enhance human capital and infrastructural developments to activate President Mohamed Buhari's vision for the region. <laughs> I declare this office open. <laughs>to boost proficiency in the education sector. 1,230 beneficiaries of a program were offered scholarship and deployed in 11 partnering institutions within the country in January 2019, where about 35 are said to be deployed to various institutions offshore. 68 students are currently studying various courses in various foreign institutions. The Presidential Amnesty Programme has begun deployment of 54 beneficiaries on scholarship offshore. This new thinking in the Amnesty Programme to attain excellence in education for beneficiaries of a programme resulted in the recent sterling performance of beneficiaries of the programme at the 7th Convocation Ceremony of the Afeb Babalola University, Abwad Adwekiti, Ikiti State, held on Monday, 21st October 2019. Of the 58 students sponsored by the Amnesty program who graduated at the ceremony, four backed first class degrees with a minimum CGPA of 4.54 in the College of Engineering. They included Paul Bini Emmanuel Dakore, Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Taylor Blessing, Mechanical Engineering, Roland Ayibokuro Ebrio, Electrical Electronics Engineering. Anago Chidera Confidence Medical Laboratory Science. Um, five years ago, when I got to this school, I, I, I didn't have any dream, I didn't have any hope. I just, uh, I just wanted to just go to school for going to school sick. But um, with the help of, of the program and everything, now I have, I have a dream, I have a vision, I have what I want to do, I have what I want to achieve in life. I, I want to um, impact as, as many lives as possible. I want to change lives of, of people as my life has been changed too. Actually, I wasn't, I wasn't prepared to come down to Abu It was like a surprise to me. So, all thanks to the Office of Special Advisor to the Niger Delta. I would say good job. I would say God bless you. Thank you for everything. 19 other beneficiaries of the program were also awarded second class upper degrees in various courses. In just one year, the Presidential Amnesty Program, under the leadership of Professor Charles Dokubo, has trained over 2,000 beneficiaries in various vocational skills and has also empowered 1,938 beneficiaries. The 2,000 beneficiaries that have completed training in various skills between March 2018 and October 2019 are out of 4,014 allocated to specialized training vendors. The trade areas in which the beneficiaries were trained and empowered include 
building materials, fish farming, poultry, welding, pig farming, plastic technology, electronic stores, cassava farming, commodity shop, and feed sales.